Oi, meu nome é Alex Henrique da Silva. Hi, my name is Alex é, Henrique da Silva. I was born in Ribeirão Preto, São Paulo. É, hoje, These days I'm a defender, zagueiro, though I can also be a winger direito, playing também. on the right. Jogo também na, pela lateral I've direito. been in Armenia for six é, years now, wearing the colors of anos, Mika Football Club. Defendendo o Mika Futebol Club. Hundreds of Brazilian players leave for greener pastures each year. Alex Henrique went at the age of 26. He'd only ever played in the lower tiers of Sao Paulo State Championship, so the prospect of making a better life elsewhere was enticing. But his choice of destination was not one Brazilians usually make. When I arrived here, it was very different, but things have improved a lot now. I've learned how to live in Armenia. I don't have any problems. This is a very restful place, and we Brazilians all know that Brazil can be a very complicated country to live in. But here, I don't have any problems with anything. It's very peaceful, and I've learned to like Armenia. He arrived in Armenia after spending the better part of his first year abroad in Russia, playing for second-tier side Volga Ulyanos. But he didn't really enjoy his time in the city of Lenin's birth, so was delighted by an invitation from one of Armenia's top clubs. He arrived at Mika in 2009 and soon carved out a niche for himself in a country that had previously welcomed relatively few Brazilians. Mika is privileged because it has its own stadium. It's good we have our own stadium. It's a lot better to train there. We know our field and Mika's team is very good. It keeps improving more and more every day. With our own stadium and our own training facilities as well, this is a team with a lot of room to grow. Alex launched his Armenian career by scoring five goals in his debut season, which as a defender was more than was expected of him. He caught the eye so much that he was invited to join the national team once he was eligible for Armenian citizenship last year and he's now become the second Brazilian to wear the colours of the Southern Caucasian Republic. Armenia has given me an opportunity to play for the national team. I don't really think I'd ever have had the chance to play for the Brazilian national team, so choosing between them was not an issue, and I'm very happy. I've been here for a long time, so I accept it with great pleasure, and I'll do whatever I can to proudly represent Armenia. I'll do whatever I can to try to qualify Armenia for the World Cup in Brazil. For now, Alex is focused on helping Mika clinch their first ever Armenian Premier League title. It's a straight fight with Shirak, and both teams are well clear of the other six in the division. Alex has already won a cup and a super cup, so a league title will complete a domestic set. His more lofty ambition to help his adopted country reach his native Brazil will be tough, as they've been grouped with Italy, Denmark, Bulgaria, Czech Republic and Malta. But the national team coach is certainly taking Alex's talents seriously. Alex is a good player. He's not been selected for official matches yet, but he remains a squad player and we'll be thinking of him for our upcoming games. I've worked very little with him. We were together only for five or six days, but he made a good impression both as a person and a player. Based on what he did, he'll make the squad for our next few matches. Upcoming home games against Czech Republic and Malta are must-wins for Armenia to keep their hopes of qualifying for Brazil alive. Alex's contract with Mika finishes at the end of the year, so it could be that he'll be heading home anyway, with or without his new national team. I do miss things about Brazil. My family, my two children, my wife, everyone in my family, my dad, mum, sisters, people from my extended family. I suppose that's what I miss most when I'm here in Armenia. Whichever way he goes, there's no doubting that the player from Sao Paulo's lower leagues has had quite an adventure.